Well, today is about reintegrating people into jobs, uh, folks who are of all backgrounds, whether you have a criminal justice background or not. Uh, we started the Second Chance Job Fair really to give Bear County a second chance. When we did $101 million worth of renovations at the AT&T Center, people in this community told me that the construction workers didn't look like the east side. And when I saw a picture of the construction workers, they were right. So it was first to give Bear County a second chance to do what's right and make sure economic development spreads in the areas where we have infrastructure. We believe that when we're building something in your community, we ought to hire people from your community. That just kind of makes sense. So that was the real origination, but we had a, another uh, goal in mind for the Second Chance Job Fair, and that was to help the formerly incarcerated. So today we have um, over 800 employers who have said that they will hire the formerly incarcerated. We help them get a job. We help them get an education. We help them be self-sustaining. We help them heal the wounds within their family and their community. So we've really changed as a society, and I think now you have uh, bipartisan support across the aisle. And what I've heard from employers is, you know, I like coming to your job fair because I go to job fairs and people aren't really looking for a job. They're just looking to see what's available. These folks are ready to work and I need workers. We're all about second chances. Uh, we understand that people make mistakes um, and we found that a lot of the second chance workers are really, they really want to work. They really want another job. They really want help and um, we're happy to help and give it to them. And we found that there, a lot of them are very good workers. So we love to have them out of our place with us. That's important because we have a lot of people that make mistakes. We have a lot of people that, you know, you, once you get out, you know, everyone tells you, no, 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 you can't get a job. You know, how can we expect people to succeed when we can't give them the tools to succeed? I lost my job. I went to my probation officer and I told her basically I lost my job, you know, and she told me about this place um, that, you know, they hire people with probation or felons or whatever. And uh, so I came and gave it a shot. And and I was looking around and everything when I just, it was the same table I'm at right now they they came and you know I applied for them I told them you know I'm bilingual I could drive a trailer I know how to do all that I, d I didn't have no tree service experience at all just don't give up man like don't think just because you you're down in the slums that your life's over like that's why I mean, it's called second chance right so you got to get up and prove yourself show yourself that you can do it put that in your mindset and go out and get it